Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Evil Genius 2 World Domination. I hope you're having a good one because I'm excited to be back. This is going to be part 21 of our Maximilian campaign, and things are generally going, I want to say, pretty well. We are in the middle of brainwashing, brainwashing protesters, which is fair enough. And we also need to invite board members from the world stage and gather information on Crest from the world stage as well. So, if we head out that way, we can take a little bit of a look at what all that means. Now, to gather the information, we are going to need to use 10 guards and two mercenaries, which is honestly, that's a lot, man. That is, that is a lot. But in terms of the board members, it looks like we just need socialites. So here's what I'm thinking, right? Here's, here's kind of where my brain is right now. Uh, we are researching something. We're researching luxury beds. Now, luxury beds seem like a pretty good thing to have i'm not gonna lie but i kind of want more barracks i also want to point out that i almost never see this room getting used here so i'm kind of okay 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 bud all right all right i see yeah so you're okay yeah prove my point wrong thank you for that um <laughs> i okay let's deal with the prisoners first the point i'm getting at is that i kind of want to go ahead and i kind of want to get more barracks so we can get more minions so essentially what i'm thinking is that we could come down to one of these areas because we have so much space to play with now uh now that we can dig all of this out i feel like we come down into like this space or this space over here and uh i feel like we just go ahead and get a bunch of minions right so Let's start by doing a little bit of construction here. Let's go ahead and do this. And let's see. That is one, two, three. So we can do this. And uh, we're not necessarily going to be able to do this exactly the way I would want to. But we can kind of do this sort of thing. So it opens that up in a bit of a weird way. Uh, but essentially, we can bring this down. We can bring this over. And I feel like we can get rid of this part here. Uh, one, two, three, so that's four. Yeah, we can do that, right? So that connects these two guys together and gives us access to all of this space up here, which is great. Uh, and it gives us access to this space over here, which I also think is pretty great. So I do want to do that. I'm going to pause while I do this, though, because there are traps going off and all that stuff. And I think what I'm going to do is this barracks right here, I, I want to go ahead and expand it a bit. Because, like I said, I do want more minions in here. So, I want to get started with uh, some general expansion. And I've got to be honest. I feel like I'm going to do away with this weird sort of door thing that I've been doing. So, we're just going to cut all of that out. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and maybe cut uh, this bit. And we can go ahead and throw a door down there. So, we'll just go for a regular door. We'll sell you. Honestly, going to sell a lot of this as well. And we'll go ahead and just put the uh, the wall back there. And then I can actually go ahead and expand the vault over here as well. Which, I mean, we have a little bit of money, so we might as well do this. Uh, so if we go ahead and do this, this, and this, I can technically throw a few of these guys in here as well, which I'm not... I eh, don't know if I really want to do that, but we could. I'm going to destroy this as well, because these guys are... There were, uh, well, symmetry was in here, so we'll get rid of all that, too. I guess we'll just do this, right? So that kind of works out for the, for, the, uh, for the vault. I'm not super stressed about putting any, like, a bunch of doors on here. I think we'll just do something simple like that. And I think in terms of beds, I mean, let's just move these guys up against this wall. And we can sort of try and double them up a little bit and just see what we can do. Okay, that looks like it will work out a little bit. It's going to give us plus 12 in terms of the minions that we can have. So I'm kind of okay with that. We'll go ahead and unpause and let my minions get to work is what we'll do. Uh, now, in terms of research, what are we doing right now? Luxury beds, I already kind of knew that. 
Uh, but I want to have a look at it specifically because luxury beds are using organic samples, which require biologists, and we have research speed of times two right now. So my question is why is it only times two right now? And the answer appears to be that we could have more biologists working on this, but we just don't. So what if I was to go to Minion Manager and I was to say, let's go in here and have a little look. And if I was to say, so what are you? I don't, I don't, I wish I, so this is maybe a scientist. I don't know what this one is. I, I, I don't know. Um, what if I was to say that you guys were to sort of focus on lab stuff? So there were like five of you working on lab stuff. I, I don't know if that's something you're going to do or not, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, you guys could maybe do lab stuff as well. I don't really know. Uh, you guys can maybe focus on lab stuff as well, which is fine. So you're researching, you're doing nothing. Uh, and you guys down here are also not really doing anything right now. So that's fine, I guess. We'll not stress too much about it. We have a little bit of research going on. Maybe there's a cap on how crazy we can go with research these days. I honestly don't know. And I'm not going to stress too much about it. I don't I don't really mind waiting that long. It's and it because it's not that long, you know? So not the end of the world. Uh although with that said, morale is generally still very low. And I do feel like we, we do still really need to do something about that. So that is something we're going to have to uh, pay pretty close attention to, I think. And also, I want to point out, there's now two uh, minions chilling in here right now after I said that no one uses that friggin' thing. So, yeah, it's like, it's like in GTA, right? It's like in Grand Theft Auto whenever you're like, oh, man, I really wish I could find that one car that I want. And then that one car doesn't spawn for the next hour. It's like that. I swear, games just know. All right? They just they just do. Something I think I really want to do is go in here and redo this lab. I've kind of been talking about it a little bit here and there, kind of mentioning it from time to time. I think it would be kind of cool to chop out a bit more space for this thing and then just build this sort of massive scientific space. I, I really do think that'd be kind of cool. So... Let's try just chopping out a bunch of this. I think like I, this room here can be can be done away with. So the centrifuges could move into there and into there. And I'm kind of okay with that. We could go ahead and sort of space them apart a little bit or we can put them back to back. I'm going to keep them spaced apart though. Uh, we can sell... You know what? Let's sell everything in here. And then let's go ahead and place everything back. So just everything's going to go. I gotta be honest, I might have uh, upsold it a little bit when I said I was going to make this place completely different because thus far the uh, impact analyzers are in exactly the same place. Although I guess they can have their own room now, which is fancy, I guess. That's fine. There's also some uh, good old whiteboards in there. We have this thing as well, this supercomputer. I It unlocks research options, apparently. I mean, they all do. You know, that's kind of what they do, but I... I we don't need it for anything right now, not that I know of, but we're going to have it, so fair enough. Uh, we have a couple of centrifuges over here on the left as well. So what I figure we do there is basically just put a door onto that space. And I'm kind of thinking that uh, laser doors seem somehow really cool for the lab here. So that's kind of what I'm going to do for everything is just laser doors because it seems kind of sciencey. Uh, and then what else have we got? So we do need organic samples to be in here. So if I was to go and put a wall down here, can I then go ahead and say that I want some organic samples there, uh, there, and there? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay. So that's pretty good. That's that's definitely a good thing. Let's do the same up here as well. So that we can go up to uh, to four of those kind of in that little space. And that seems kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, it gives, you know, the samples their own little space, which is lovely. Uh, we don't currently have any data banks, which is a little bit 
annoying. I would like a couple of these guys. Um, in terms of spacing for them, I mean, I guess we can kind of do, we can't really do there very well. Uh, we could sort of do this space down here. That does exist. We have all this space over here as well to play with, which honestly, I don't really mind doing, I guess. So if I was to do a data bank there and there, and then go ahead and do something like, I don't know, I guess that. So there's almost like a, a wall kind of dividing all that space as well. Does that mean I can go and get another data bank? It does. It does give us a little bit of a cramped space through there, though, which I'm not a huge fan of. But I think we're just going to have to deal with that, to be honest, unless we put the data bank on well, we can put it on the other side, but I don't know how well that's going to work. And we can put it down there, but I don't know how well that's going to work. I don't know. This layout is not, it's not working as well as I thought it was going to work. I'm not going to lie, but sure. Let's just do that. I don't know if that's going to be enough of anything, but sure, it'll be, it'll be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and throw that thing there. Let's throw another one there. Let's grab one of these coat racks because they're kind of cool and put it in that corner. Uh, we can go ahead and throw a coat rack hopefully in there as well. I don't know if it's going to be useful, but we're going to do it. And then I guess we could throw... Well, we can't put another centrifuge in there. We could do a little whiteboard in that corner. Even though I'm pretty sure whiteboards aren't really getting used all that much. I think we're on to kind of organic samples for the most part right now. So... I don't know. I don't know about this. This might this might not work out. Also, supercomputers are 30 electricity, which is kind of nuts. Um, let's see. Let's just leave it as is. I think we'll just leave it. Just leave it as it is. We'll do a po like an anatomy poster it can go there. And we can do a poster there as well. That blocks everything off. Never mind. Uh, we'll move you to there. And we'll do another coat rack, I guess, just there. And we'll do one of these things here. And that'll sort of boost everybody a little bit. And be all nice and lovely and whatnot. So that's great. This space down here kind of just has nothing and is essentially useless for, for the lab. But that's okay. We'll go ahead and confirm it. And uh, that's going to be a hell of a project. Because we can't actually afford to finish it. Not so, what that says to me is world stage and money making schemes so in terms of money making schemes there's one there 200 every five seconds seems like a good idea six scientists seems like a lot of scientists but we're kind of at the point where we're going to do that uh we'll grab you as well this one is technicians we can do that and what else have we got going on around here i'm not sure how many of these schemes are necessarily going to be completed because as it stands, we're probably in a situation where, yeah, I really don't feel like sending, well, yeah, we'll send technicians, that's fine. We'll send all those guys out, and uh, that'll make us some money. And then this is all getting dug out pretty quickly, which is lovely to see. And apparently the supercomputer is ready to be installed as well. That's, that's a lot of money on its own there as well, good lord. Okay, well, I mean, there it is. That thing is, uh, that's interesting looking. That's really weird looking. I mean, I like it, but it's, it's weird looking. I don't even know if we're researching anything with it right now, but, or if we can, I don't even know if we can research anything with it, but whatever. Uh, let's go to, interesting, you guys are in here, huh? Level seven agents as well, oof. Okay. Let's, I mean, they're already leaving, so I guess it's not the end of the world. Let's just go ahead and grab, so you guys are out here and due to be taken in. Can I get you to come in as well? And I don't know, maybe you as well, if I can grab you. So we'll see if we can grab those, uh, those protesters and bring them in. We need to brainwash two more of them, and then we need to do the stuff in the world stage as well, which is fine. Research. And all of this is sort of coming along as well, which is totally fine. Incarceration protocol. So, 
hopefully this research goes nice and quickly. It actually looks like we're going to have four of these guys working on this, which means this should now have a times two thing. Oh, wait, what do you mean isolating unwanted files? Hello? Are you interesting? That's, that's, I'm, I'm sure that's not... <laughs> I'm sure that's fine, right? I'm sure I'm sure none of the other guests in the casino are looking at the robot running around killing everybody and thinking that's weird at all. I, I'm sure they're not doing that. I'm sure everyone just thinks it's normal. It's just a quirk of the casino, you know? That's that's all it is. We're just a little bit a little bit zany. You know? That's 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 all. <laughs> that's that's all it is. Don't worry, but don't think too hard about it. Uh, now, these guys are, well, you're very close to getting, uh, put in right there. And we actually have a couple too many of these protesters, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen there. And I'm pretty sure, oh, we're not at the minion limit right now either, so that's good. We'll get that one out and get them brainwashed. We'll get you out of there and get you brainwashed. We'll get you out of there and get you brainwashed. And we'll get you out of there and we'll interrogate you. And that'll be beautiful, is what that'll be. So that'll be 10 of 10 of those done. And then on the world stage, in terms of the board members, let's send out some socialites. Let's uh, let's start doing that. Does it give us a lot of heat for the region? It gives us a bit. That's also gathering information right there. The gathering information, uh, what's the heat in the region right now? So region heat is 90 out of 100. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Let's remove all heat from the region and then send these guys out to gather information because that's kind of important to do as well. And then what is this? That's invite board members, but I don't have a high enough level criminal network down there, which we can do, but I think I want to do some uh, some research before we do that. Same with down here. There's a lot of places where we can... Oh, let's gather information as well. Do we have a way to bring the heat down here by paying for it? That's valets. That's not really what I'm looking for. Doesn't really look like it. We could hire some guards right on the spot, though. That's kind of nice. Uh, this is guards and mercenaries. Let's just do it. Let's just send them out. We have enough minions kind of coming and going that I think we'll be able to manage here. And uh, we might as well, you know, start making progress on this particular thing. And also, in good news, we are 94% on luxury beds. So that makes me very happy. Because that means I can come down here and uh, upgrade a lot of these guys. Also, I think Agent X might have just uh, got here. Wow, you guys are actually pretty tough, huh? I don't think I don't think we're gonna try and fight them. I think we are gonna need to bring the heat levels down across the board though, because we have soldiers due to arrive relatively soon. And we also have a bunch of minions that are gonna be a little bit annoyed about not getting paid, so we're gonna be in a rough spot, but I I think we'll manage. I think we'll be okay. We're gonna be training some guys back up. You know, we've already got a fair bit of information on Crest. Can we go out and get more? So what is this one? That is plus 10 tourists, requires three. That's not, wait, what, really? I don't think I need more tourists though, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this one is the criminal network level two. Is this a level two network? I don't think it is. Okay, so I think we're gonna be focusing on this region here. This one's locked down and I need more uh, need martial artists for it anyway, so we're not gonna bother with that. That's more tourists as well. This is invite board members, but we need socialites to do it. That's invite board members, but we need to upgrade the region. That is rewards Nigel McCreary. What? Who is Nigel McCreary? Okay. All right. I guess. I Sure. I, I'm not even, not even really going to ask available. too much, I guess. Uh, we do have a new side story available, though, apparently. 
We have quite a few of these. I really feel like I should dive into these and get all the loot. I feel like that's probably relatively useful. Especially just generally doing all of the side stories. I could see that just generally being quite useful to do. Although I'll tell you what I probably should do. Grab Max and get him over here to boost everybody. Well, well, well. We have luxury beds. Fantastic. That is exactly what I wanted. We need to complete four additional tier three researches to get more stuff, which is fine. Uh, the advanced guard table would be lovely as well. But I, I do feel like the super serum machine is kind of what we want. So let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, my minions are in combat right now. Where? They're all running this way. What's going on? Oh, it's the soldiers. We should be fine. Yes, they're in combat, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to deal with the soldiers without too much trouble. I mean, yes, they're going to they're gonna get some of my minions, but for the most part, I think we're going to be okay. I think. <laughs> we should be. There we are. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, now we're getting minions turning against us. Again, eh, 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 not good, but it's fine. It's because we've spent so much money on all of the science stuff. How much is this thing? 100,000. Okay, I'll tell you what. Cancel the centrifuge. Confirm. So the construction here is done. Now we're going to be at a point. Now, they, they are annoyed. They are all leaving. We're not going to worry too much about it because here's what we're going to do, right? We're going to go to the world stage and we are going to see what kind of money we can get. All right, so we'll slow the game down. We'll keep it running, though. And this region here, what can we do? 200 every five seconds requires guards. Let's do it. This is risky because as it stands right now, uh, we are kind of in a situation where uh, that's probably a waste of time doing that one. Uh, we're in a bit of a situation. You know, the minions aren't very happy with me. They haven't been paid. I get it. But we'll manage. It's fine. I need to stay on top of paying them is is the thing. I really, really need to stay on top of paying them. I'm, I'm getting really bad at doing that. And uh, I feel bad. I do. I do genuinely feel bad because I... It's such a basic little thing to keep them paid. It's not really all that complicated. I'm just an idiot. You know, that's, that's kind of all it is. Stop telling me that they're deserting. I know. Oh, I've just noticed that there is actually a board member in here right now. That's kind of cool. Not bad. Uh, we do still have a lot of minions complaining, by the way. Just, just in case you're curious, it's 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 not that much later. Uh, they're they're not very happy with me, but we do have money, so we should be able to pay them, right? That's that's kind of the way I'm looking at things. If I have a look at stats, I mean, I I I I get that they're rebelling. But my question is, we, we have the money to pay them. Can we do that? I guess it's going to be like a monthly thing where we pay them, which is slightly frustrating, but whatever, I guess. Uh, let's just go ahead and destroy that. And let's see. Is there anything else around here I should be destroying? Probably that. Uh, probably other things as well that I can't really see right now. So we'll just go ahead and confirm those two. And uh, yeah, we're making enough money. I think we'll be fine to do a lot of this. I do also think that we should probably go ahead and... Hmm. You know what I want to try and do? I want to try and move a lot of my broadcast strength down into this space. So let me move things around. I'm not going to sell things. That's... I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to just rearrange this space rather than... Uh, completely rebuilding it from scratch. So we'll do this. And then we'll kind of move you. And I can't really put you there. But I can put this one here. I can move this guy to here. We're going to have a very thin gap between them. I don't know if that gap's actually going to be functional. It apparently is. So that's good. And then what I'm going to do is grab the computer consoles. And put one there. And I'm going to put one say there and then these guys there and there right so that that kind of works out this guy can go here which cuts off that backspace but that's kind of all right i'm not really stressed about it because what i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna put a, com a computer back there uh as well 
So that's that's totally okay. We'll go ahead and put those guys there. And what can I do? We've got a, a data processor. It could go back here as well, which I'm totally fine with. And I will, uh, I can't, I can't buy a computer processor for back there. Okay. Can I buy a screen? Uh, no. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's just go ahead and sort of stack these guys a little bit then. So these guys are going to go here. Uh, then you're going to come in and you're going to go there. You're going to go there. And this guy's going to go there. So I can, and I'm, I'm going to, I said I wasn't really going to try and spend money here, but I do want to try, I guess at the very least to get a decent chunk more broadcast strength. That seems like it would be a good idea. So I could do that and it's going to give me plus seven, which isn't bad to be honest. Uh, plus seven broadcast strength, I think is pretty respectable. And uh, this weird space over here is annoying me. I'm going to move this guy sort of back into there and uh, move you to there. And then this space over here is kind of annoying me, but I can't... Well, I was going to say I can't do much about that. I think I can, actually. Uh, yeah, we can take that out and move these guys just along a bit. So they're not going to be lined up as nicely as they could have been. But if anything, that's probably going to give me a chunk more space to play with. Because I could expand way down here. I, I don't really want to do that, but I could. Um, and that's, yeah, that's fine. So this guy isn't really going to work there. It, it could work there though, which isn't a, Ooh, hold on a minute. Let's do this. Let's move you. And this guy, this guy's not really going to work anywhere, but that's all right. We can cancel that one. We can put you there, put you there, and put you there. And that's okay. I, I actually, I kind of like these guys facing away from it. And then in terms of decor, we can go ahead and put in things like this. We can put in things like this. We can put you kind of down in that corner. And we can just generally sort of decorate the space a little bit to make it a little bit better. So that slows uh, that drain, that slows that drain. So we'll just do this as well. I don't think I can put anything there, but that's okay. And that seems all right. So that's gonna be 26,000. That's actually not that expensive. And it's plus seven on the broadcast strength. So yeah, I'm I'm kind of okay with that. I, I am kind of okay with that. Uh, let's just throw some of these guys in there because I can. And, uh, this guy could go, well, there, I suppose. So, yeah, we'll confirm that. It's minus 35 on power. That's actually a bad thing because we don't have the means to deal with that. Uh, except we actually kind of do. This whole space over here is going to need to become power generation. Is what it's going to need to be. So, well, maybe not. Let's just say for now we build what we need. So we're going to need that. We're going to need that. That's going to give us plus 40. Uh, let's say we go like this and we throw another couple of these guys in here. That'll give us plus 80. It's kind of expensive, but I think it's going to be worth it uh, because it's essentially going to let us just deal with the expanded power consumption of the improved whatever room this is. I can't remember the name of it for the life of me. What, what the hell is it called? It's the control room. That was easy. 